Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do something completely different and show off my DIY side. This is kind of a test. I wanted to see how well this origami paper would stand up to painting. I like to paint a lot and I'm starting to journal. I got these origami papers in order to um, do a lot of different crafty things in my journals with them. So I went ahead and I've soaked one side of the paper with water and I'm filling it in to test and see how well this paper is going to hold up. This is the uh, Washi Chiyogami pack. I got it at Michael's. It was like $13. And I started painting a flower. I wanted to try a lot of different um, things on the paper to see what's going to bleed through. I really like the texture of the paper. It's really good for um, having some sort of uh, a little bit of grit if you like uh, painting on a rougher surface it's nice but the other side that has the print on it is very silky smooth so my plan is to stack up a bunch of these and create a, um, a leaflet book that I can um, probably not even really stitch together. I'm not sure how I'm going to bind it, but I want at least like, uh, I don't know, about maybe 10 sheets folded and um, I'm planning to make uh, another journal for just artistic projects that I can paint in. And so I wanted to test this paper. Um, to see how well it would hold up to painting on it and um, also lettering with um, the colored pens that I like to use. So I'll be doing that as well. And I've gone ahead and drawn a little earthworm. <laughs> silly. My drawings are very organic and I never know what I'm going to do when I start drawing so that's why I wanted to start a little kind of art artistic journal so that I can, um, I, I noticed I was filling up a lot of my um, my journal with doodles and things like that like so I'm like I can't keep taking whole pages for this in here and also I uh, I ended up getting something in the mail that I can't use for my larger journal, so I'm just going to make something with my Moleskine, and you can see that the the fuchsia heart did bleed through a little bit. Now I'm going to try this olive green. And these are the Stedler pencils, if that's how you say it. Say it. State. Do you pronounce the D or the T? Okay, it's the Tripos fine liner. So there. And I got the 20 pack because I got I thought that was the best value. And um, these two show through I think the worst. That olive green, which now pretty much looks black because of how much I laid it on. And um, this aqua, believe it or not. I'll show in a minute. It, it really does bleed through pretty bad on those parts. But I wasn't done with my little decoration yet. I wanted to draw some clouds. And now that I'm watching it, I wish I would have drawn an extra puffy layer on top. <laughs> Even bigger clouds. I'll probably add that later. check the, the back for um, the parts that did bleed through and I show that um, the lettering yeah and that ribbon of 
parts show through pretty badly. But all in all, pretty great for watercolor, so I'm gonna use it. 